What's going on guys? So today we have some exciting stuff to look at. We're going to compare a $10,000 road bike right up against an entry level sub thousand dollar. What's going on guys? It's Chris here back with you with another comparison of a $10,000 road bike right up against a $1,000 or sub thousand dollar road bike and what the two big differences are. So keep an eye out and we're going to check out the new Damane SLR7 comparing against the AL2. This is the 2020 AL2, so it has the rim brakes. Those are a new version coming out with disc brakes. Other than that, they're a very similar bike. Let's get to it. All right, so first up we have the Damane AL2. This is Trek's entry level bike in its road bike series now. It recently replaced the one series. The new 2021 models, they are releasing a disc brake version as opposed to the rim brake, so they're updating them ever so slightly. With an entry level bike like this, you get a nice comfy geometry, slightly upright in comparison to a higher end bike. The basic brake set, like Claris, gets you stopped. Surprisingly enough, they do come with a tubeless ready wheel. R1s as the tire, 700 by 28. Trek's entry level bike into their road bikes starts with flat basic pedals. Whereas high end bikes won't come with pedals at all and you have to buy them extra, it's nice to see that they included this. It has a huge wide range on the front designed for easy gears. Externally routed cables keep for clean, easy maintenance, though more wear and tear on the cables. 2x9 drivetrain is really designed for the entry level wide, easy, low gear range. This does have the Shimano Hyperglide cassette to it. And its rear setup is a Claris derailleur system with an 11 by 32 tooth. Front chain rings come with a nice 34 50 tooth combination. Again, making for a very easy shifting. Quick release front and rear skewer. And a lot of mounting points for racks, fenders, and additionally rear racks. Comes with the same seat as most mountain bikes, the Avada or Avada Comp. Makes for a comfy, yet very easy to upgrade seat. And now we're looking at the Damani SLR9 with SRAM Force Axis Shifting. So this is a custom Project 1 paint job with that amazing purple faded to gold. Every angle you look at this bike, it is different. And part of that is the design and what you pay for. This one obviously comes with the SRAM Force brake set, hydraulic disc, cables are ran through the fork and they come out right at the caliper setup. Surprisingly enough, they do come with mount holes for fenders and potentially racks. It comes with Bontrager's carbon handlebar. Only two cables running in. Along with the AL does have a duo trap sensor and the rear hydraulic line is integrated all the way through. SRAM Force chain on it is even higher end with a flat top. A carbon SRAM Force crank set with a 46 to 33. And of course, the SRAM Force axis shift ahead and battery. These batteries hold a nice long charge and they do have power saving features so you shouldn't run out on the road. A 10 to 32 cassette these come standard with through axles. Again with the Demones, you get the integrated storage for flat repair and there'll be a position on the seat post to mount a light. This one comes with the Avarta Elite saddle and it has a integrated mount for a light and Garmin setup. So as you can tell on this there is a lot of upgraded features. The rims are also carbon fiber in comparison to aluminum. Not only do you get adjustable ISO speed under the frame, you also get it in the headset. So what this will do will make your ride extremely comfy. So the Demonians we've looked at before, the cool part about them is that tire clearance is huge. You'll be able to be a fast rider on the road or on gravel with this one whether you switch out the tires or buy a second set of rims. There is a significant weight change in the two bikes also. With the Damani SLR7 with Axis, you are looking 
at 19.24 pounds, no pedals included, or 8.74 kilograms. In comparison, the AL2 is weighing in at 10.03 kilograms, or 22.11 some significant weight savings even if you were able to put carbon rims on that aluminum frame you would not get halfway there the wireless shifting looks super clean it performs absolutely fantastic in comparison to the claris even in comparison to a high-end pirate spec the wireless shifting just performs do you need to remember to charge it so that is the one little thing you've got to think of as a downside Upside, it looks clean, its paint job is significantly better, it looks like a fantastic bike, and it's going to perform insanely comfortable, or with that adjustable ISO speed, you're actually going to get a very stiff, responsive bike. Also, let's just appreciate the sounds of the hub. Imagine those at road speed, those hubs sound significantly different. The contact points, significantly different. That's the same as when we compared the top fuel to the Marlin 5, and people got really angry that there was no comparison there. There is a comparison. They are the same bike. They'll both go on the same road. To a degree, the Demonte SLR 7 will be able to go onto gravel much more effectively than the AL2. The clearances are massive but they're still a road bike. They'll still be great. Depending on where your budget is, if it's over $10,000, I strongly look at the SLR 7. The SLR 9, you have to spend a lot more money to get a very small increase in, in, like, in performance. All right, under $1,000, you can get into a road bike. It's gonna have easier gearing. It's gonna be a little lighter weight than a, say, a mountain bike, skinnier wheels than a mountain bike, and that proper road bike geometry with a comfy fit. When you're spending 10,000 or more, you're going to a pro fit. You'll be paying for an additional fit or it's gonna be included in the price and it's gonna be much more comprehensive because it has to be. As well now you get the adjustable geometry and you get to choose whether you're a gravel rider or a road rider or you're just a road rider who wants super comfort to it. The benefits are definitely costing a lot more money. Going to a wireless shifting set, that alone is thousands of dollars, more than the entry-level Demonte AL2 even costs, just for the shifting. The brakes will stop you faster, the pedals will get you there further, even though they're not included. A huge weight savings, huge weight savings, which you could never buy and get to that level on that AL2. There's too many mis-incompatible parts, it just doesn't work. If you're looking for an entry-level road bike and you think you'll be going on road only, the Demone AL2 is a great bike. If you have $10,000, the SLR7 is an amazing bike, plus now you get that benefit of gravel. If you're unsure whether you'll be doing gravel or road, check out the checkpoints because that might be the bike for you. Guys, that's it. That's one more video comparing two crazy opposite bikes and which is worth it. If you like this kind of content, please like, subscribe, and comment below, and uh, good luck. Walk around the same path every day.